Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for April 18th to the 24th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. And yes, this weekly will be a new one this week because I do listen to you guys in the comments, okay? So if you guys like this new way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the old way, let me know in the comments below, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. So let's go on my Capricorn Germantic Love Life for April 18th to the 24th. Give me seven cards for their day to day. Give me three cards for their love and best feelings. Give me one card for the blockage and three cards for the overall outcome. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Capricorns Romantic Love Life for April 18th to the 24th? Give me seven cards for their day to day. Three cards for their, their love interest romantic feelings for them. One card for the blockage for the romantic love life and three cards for the overall outcome. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on with my Capricorn Romantic Love Life for April 18th to the 24th? Give me seven cards for the day to day. Give me three cards for their love interest feelings. Give me one card for the blockage and three cards for the overall outcome. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's sew these down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. Okay, and let's also lay down these cards as well. All right, so now we're gonna look at how does your love interest feel about you? The one you turn on this video for, the one you wanna know about the most. They feel like they have a lot to give and they want things to be brought into balance. They feel like they want things to turn in their favor when it comes to you, okay? So they would like luck on their side and it, for it to be the right timing for things to be brought into balance here. This person feels like you are a wise decision from their past experiences when it comes to love and romance. This person wants to celebrate and hang out with you with the Three of Cups energy. This person wants friendship too, possibly also with the Three of Cups energy or because of the fact that, you know, you guys get along really well. They like to hang out with you. They're like, you know, they're, they're really a wise choice here. And I really want things to be brought into balance. I also feel like since I see the Balance card and I see the Three of Cups card, that there may be another person involved and this person wants that to be brought into balance, right? And they want luck to be on their side, things to move in their favor. This person wants to take control of things here. They want to be victorious in this situation. And this person want like a reconciliation. They want things to rule in their favor with the judgment card energy. All right, so let's keep going here. What is the blockage here? There's a lot of regrets. So the regrets about the past about what has happened and there's still some things that have to be forgiven here that's what's blocking you in your romantic love life and we see that you need to take that time out to really think about things and contemplate things with the hermit card energy some things need to be revealed here the card itself says an unhealthy reflection on the past forgiveness is required for healing to begin right when we're dealing with heartache we're dealing with issues here we are creating uh, blockages and there's also the reason why we go through heartache is because it's about self-love. So focus on self-love and forgiving yourself, forgiving the other person about the situation, right? Really take that time out to really analyze this. What, why did this happen, right? Analyze this and, and focus on forgiveness here, okay? So you can remove this blockage. All right, so what's going to happen on the 18th? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. There's strong desires, obsessions here. And there's a huge offer, guys, coming in for you. Ace of Pentacles energy. What? Look at that. It's being presented. Like, here you go. 
a huge offer coming in. All right, let's see what's going on. Yes, they're gonna hear about this. That's a news card. Also, remember the writer card is saying, well, somebody, somebody's gonna pay you a visit. So either you're gonna hear news about this offer and these strong desires, or this person's gonna pay you a visit on this day of the 18th, okay? Because one is coming out, which is, what is it? Opportunity here for you guys. Let's see what's going on the 19th, okay? This seems to be the theme here, okay. Is someone being dishonest at work, possibly with the Emperor card energy, or being honest about the sense of control or lack of control here? And what their wishes are with the wishing well energy. So there's news of someone's wishes. There's this opportunity here, a huge offer being presented to you guys. And this like sense of, oh man, I gotta have this structured and organized in a certain way. There's strong desires, but then you're like, are they being real with me? Are they being honest with me? There's something deceptive around this. Let's see on the 20th here. Well, obviously for some of you, there could be something going on at work here because we got the money card energy or Money and finance seems to be affecting your romantic love life. It's making you feel like, I need to be patient here and figure out what I want emotionally here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yeah, we see love though. All right, there's the heart card energy. So there is this understanding that there's love, but for some of you, it's like, all right, I feel like the issue seems to be work and money and finance or focus on money and finance here that's affecting romantic love life. There's some huge offer coming here, there's strong desires here, but it's like it's like you it's like you or them can't be honest about the fact that money and finance seems to be a factor here. So there's this opportunity, this potential opportunity and we see the emperor card energy represents boss or work or you know a sense of control and wanting to be patient when it comes to emotions. This person's gonna pay you a visit or there's news about their wishes about the fact that they love you with the heart card energy, right? And we see there's an opportunity for this change because of healing, recovery, and love. Okay, let's keep going here. On the 21st, <laughs> really, look at this. There's strong desires here. There's, there's that card again, strong desires. Wow. <laughs> Or there could be a sense of, remember the devil card energy can talk about toxic energy. Is there a true romantic connection here? It's so unclear, deeper understanding is needed. Well, let's come back to this, right? You need to do some deep, heavy soul searching here. So we see the devil card energy. Bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination, or strong desires, obsessions around this, but still having this uncertainty about, is this the right timing? Or is things moving in my favor? Okay, be careful about that day. Well, let's see what's going on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are making a decision here on this day to go towards what your passions are. Some of you may even, uh, there may be some passion exercises going on on that day because it's like you're actually taking an action there with the Knight of Wands energy and making a decision about that. But there's still some sense of, I don't know what face to wear here. Should I be happy? Should I be sad? You know, you know, be careful about that. Also with the Knight of Wands energy, it's like you may have a sense you're trying to make a decision whether or not this person's a player because that's also the player energy there. And you're just like, you know, I don't, this person seems like they're the person of many faces. I don't know, like, you know, Sometimes they're like this with me. Sometimes they're like that with me. You know, are they playing me? Are they they're, Are they wanting to commit here? Not wanting to commit here? They keep doing this back and forth thing with me. And I'm ready. I need to make a decision. I need to waiting to be over here because obviously you're having uncertainty about this. And on the 23rd, it looks like you're you're going to cut away these unhealthy things because you're dealing with the sense of longing, the sense of heartache here with the Three of Swords energy or. For some of you, since I see three card energy here, there could be the sense of, you know what, this other person needs to be cut away or cut out. A decision needs to be made here, right? Because maybe for some of you, you have a sense that there's a third party situation going on here. And you're just like, I don't know, I need to make I need to like make an abrupt decision to cut away these things. Because you have the sense, I'm gonna keep going around in a circle, or you want some kind of commitment here. You're ready for a commitment here, and you're just like, there's uncertainty about this commitment because you're, for some of you, feel like there's some kind of third party situation going on. Okay, let's keep going here. Mmm, that explains it. Okay, so there's an ex-partner coming up here that's causing this situation to happen. 
this unfinished love connections happening here and it looks like that's what the decision is going to be about because I'm mirroring that this ex-partner and this decision and this lack of commitment because of heartache and this sense of I need to take an action here and they are you're looking at choices so it looks like Capricorn you have a lot of options and a lot of choices. There's a serious offer on the table for you. You're being patient here when it comes to love. You're having the sense of that you're having uncertainty about there's strong desires and attachments here, but you guys have more than one choice or option. I even see it here. So you got to do some deep, heavy soul searching because you're wrestling with something to do with somebody from your past here with the X card energy. And obviously with the people card energy, there's like a sense of, this person's not being honest with you about a commitment because it's something to do with people. Yeah, there's people involved. There's other people involved with this situation. All right, let's go back to this person's feelings. This person feels like you really surprised them and they would like to heal things with you. And this person wants a reconciliation with you. Now that explains why the X card is coming out here. So potentially this X could be come popping up here this week, okay? And we see what the blockage is this week about regrets. So and we see there's an opportunity again coming up. So you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching about opening up this door here, um, but there's still this focus on regrets about what happened. All right, so let's see the overall outcome here. So it looks like there's something secret here that really shocks and surprises you, or you're trying to gain knowledge because this is a real big shock and surprise to you. Yeah. This person wants to hold on to you for pentacles energy, but you're defensive about this, about getting hurt, nine of wands energy. So you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching. You're trying to figure it out. You're isolating yourself, self-isolating yourself to focus on what's gonna make me completely happy here with the 10 of cups energy. You're like, are they being honest with me? There's something secret going on. And this defensive energy, this shock, this surprise is because it's something that had ended, stopped or completed, or you're just taking a break from things because of house and family, stability and stableness. So you're wanting some kind of stability and stableness, house and family, right? Okay, so you're shocked about the fact that there is this potential huge offer here and there's obsessions about this, strong desires around this. And you're hearing news about this. We see that here. And you're like, all right, is this part of my wishes, my hopes, I mean, to take control of the situation, money and finance or something of value here? Let me figure this out. Do I love this person? I'm uncertain about this. There's challenges, there's strong desires here. I need to make a decision. Um, there's a lot of chemistry and passion and taking actions towards that or maybe a lack of commitment because still there's still some stuff going on with the ex and you're gonna have to make some kind of choice. Let's come back to the blockage here. There's regrets about what happened in the past and you're doing some deep, heavy soul searching about this opportunity. That's part of the block because you have to figure out about this opportunity. Obviously, this opportunity has to do with house and family, stability and stableness, this big offer that you got coming here and about whether or not this is really gonna make you happy. So you're taking that time to really think about that. Oh, Capricorn. Ooh. Alrighty, my darlings. I love you guys so much. Obviously, you guys can uh, check out the monthlies to get an overall of everything that's going on for this month for more details, as well as the mid-monthlies, which will be coming out in another day or two, which will cover love, career and finance, and health and wellness. I love you guys so much. If you guys would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon.